All right, this one's gonna be on prefix searches for W3M. Uh, I was supposed to make this video a long time ago, but we're doing it now. Uh, if you don't know what it is, uh, prefix searches are basically, you know, that's how it sounds like you, you do a prefix and then you search for whatever search engine you have. Now, by default, uh, there is no way to do that inside of W3M, um, which is kind of annoying, but uh, in a combination of FZF, aka Fuzzy Finder, uh, with Surf Raw, uh, we can actually achieve that in a hacky way, but we can do it. So let's say, for example, I bust out my hockey here, and this one is using FZF as a, our little menu. And uh, from here, we can actually filter it out. Like, let's say I want to search torrents, and you know, these are my torrents uh, LV from Surf Raw, and I can select one of them. And I, you know, I type in my keyword that I want to use. So let's say, for example, um, I want to search for bad boys, right? And it should have like the movie and stuff like that, right? There you go. Um, so that's how you use the torrent. So if I want to do that again, and I want to do, um, what do we want to do? What do we do? Stack exchange, All right? So I do Vim. I don't know insert and it should pull up you know some stuff about them insert mode and stuff like that so that's what we're gonna do when to set that up so we can actually search stuff real quick and then we're gonna you know bounce around different tabs real quick all right so how do we do this here so let's bust it out here our uh, configurations for w3m and you want to use the one that says uh what is that key map so it should be in your w3m key map um, file um, so the one that we need concern about is this one here right uh, now there's different scripts in here let me give you the scripts here uh, what scripts that you need so these ones um, it has to be in your root folder okay this one has to be in your root folder these three here so we're just gonna focus on these uh, three here uh, we don't have to use all three. We're just going to, um, I'll let you decide whichever you want to use. So the first one is for your clipboard. Uh, that one's like your traditional clipboard. The primary one is um, like, you know, when you're highlighting stuff, that's your primary clipboard. And then Tmux, if you're using this on a, like a pure server headless, you know, no X sessions for that, you can actually use Tmux as your clipboard um, manager, I guess. So you need those three, and those has to be inside of um, uh, this folder here, in your root folder. So you have to actually copy those three into uh, USR lib w3m cgi uh, bin here, right? This directory here. I'm not sure why that was the case. But I heard it was a what was that, a, a security issue. And this one was, um, you know, these scripts are written by uh, Mr. Philippe S.A.A. here. So thanks to him for that. Based on his um, script here, uh, I made it for the primary one. I made it for the Tmux one here. And then from there, I created this um, uh, FCF here, right, for uh, Surf Raw here. So this is the script I actually wrote here. The other ones, I just stole it, right? This one I actually wrote it myself here. But this one does is that it will actually um, output the uh, URL of the surf raw. So, you know, when you search for a key terms or something like that, uh, it has to like add in like the extra key terms for that search engine. So that's what it's going to do. And it's going to copy to um, our clipboard, whatever clipboard we're using, either the X session clipboard or the Tmux clipboard. And then from there, it'll paste it back into uh, W3M, and then we can actually search it and then open like a new uh, tab or the current tab, whatever you want to do. Anyways, with that being explained, uh, this one, these scripts here in here, this one, it does not have to be uh, in any certain directory. You know, you can put this in the root if you want, or you can put it in your local uh, configurations if you want. This does not matter, right? So we just focus on these two only here. 
Uh, so this one is not uh, mandatory to put in your root uh, directory. Anyways, let's get back to uh, this portion here. So this one, um, we're calling, um, you know, our hotkey, whatever you want to assign your hotkey to be. So my ID is XS. Uh, lowercase just means that it open in the current tab. Capitalize uh, XS uh, is just going to open in a new tab, right? So that's what we're going to do here. So basically, it's telling it to use shell, whatever shell you're using, and it's going to execute the, um, the FCF, you know, surf raw CGI script here, right? And then after that, it's going to copy the link. Uh, and then from there, um, what was that? Uh, go to means that uh, this is like an internal command for W3M, which is will open. Um, It'll paste in, you know, whatever the URL is into the current um, tab. If you want to use a new tab, it'll actually use a tab go to here and it'll put it'll open like a new tab that we did, like, you know, uh, that I showed you earlier. That's what we're doing here. That's really all you got to do. I mean, if if you want to use the primary uh, clipboard, which is what I recommend if you're using an, an X session, if you're using a Tmux one here, this one here. And then uh, you use this one for Tmux on a headless server. It'll work no problems, right? Anyways, uh, that's what you gotta do, right? Now, like I, like I said, uh, make sure that this one, um, the go-to, you know, scripts and stuff like that, it has to be in your root directory, right? It has to be in that root directory. It can't even be anywhere else. These other ones are just optional. You can put it anywhere you want, but you have to like, you know, uh, tell it where it's located at when you're using, uh, you know, um, this mapping here, All right? Anyways, that's really it. Uh, I'll post you whatever you need to do on, in the, the description uh, in my show notes. But that's all you got to do. And hopefully you have, you know, uh, FCF install, Surf Raw, and W3M, and this one should work, All right? So let's demonstrate that again here. So if I wanted to open like a, a new tab, all right, and I use a search engine or something like that, uh, let's use the mirror bay here. And if I do like wallpapers, right, this one will open in a, in a new tab. Now, if I want to use this current tab to do it, I use uh, lowercase xs, right? So that one was uh, capitalized xs, but this one is lowercase. So this one will not open a new tab. It will use the current tab, which is this Pirate Bay one here. So I do this. And let's say I want to uh, search. Um, what the hell I want to search? Let's say search Google. How about that? And I'll search uh, for my name. How about that here? So now it's going to use this, the, the current tab that we use. Um, instead of having like the, the Pirate Bay before, it's just going to use the same tab and... Um, search you know whatever search engine we use anyways that's pretty much how you set it up and you know uh, it's pretty hacky but it does work now let's say i want to use the uh, tmux for this what's the difference between this and the tmux one right not that much of a difference really but uh let's close this out here and do it again here so the tmux one if i do um Let's search for, um, what do you search for? Um, what was that movie I just watched? It Man, okay. It Man here, and then this is using just pure team mux. Hit enter again, and it's pretty much the same thing. It's just that uh, instead of using your X session clipboard, uh, it actually uses your internal, you know, clipboard here that team mux has. So you see here, it has like It Man. The clipboard here so if we do another one um let's do another one here say the mirror bay and would we'll use uh we'll do wallpapers again how about that All right and there you go you have wallpapers and uh now your clipboard should have like you know the wallpapers here so basically that's what it does is that it will use your tmux clipboard instead of your uh, X session clipboard that you're, uh, you know, accustomed to. But this one will actually flood, you know, your <laughs> your clipboard if you do this a lot. Anyways, that's it for um, 
using uh, was that FCF with Surf Raw and W3M to achieve prefix searches that you can do uh, inside of W3M here. Anyway, uh, link will be in the description if you want to set this up. Um, that'll be it for this one.